Fuel positive. What a perfect timing for you, Ian. You've always been first over the mountain. And of course, Fuel Positive continues to put out some extraordinary news for anybody out there interested in anything having to do with green tech, the green economy, and of course, carbon credits. Let's start with your recent announce- announcement about a provisional patent for green aqueous ammonia systems. Give us an update, please. Sure. Thanks, Tracy. Yeah, no, we've been uh, incredibly busy over the last year uh, getting ready to deliver our first commercial system to a, to a big farm in Manitoba at the end of uh, end of April. So it's uh, quickly, quickly coming upon us. But we, it hasn't stopped our work on the intellectual property uh, front as well. Uh, and as you mentioned, we did announce a, uh, a very important uh, patent filing for um, for green aqueous ammonia, which mean, basically means it opens up our market globally dramatically to virtually every type of farm um, around the world who's util- utilizing nitrogen as as part of their fertilizer uh, regime, which is virtually almost every farm. So that's a very very important step for us, and 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 really really exciting, and and the first of many. Um, pieces of uh, add-on technology and standalone technology that we're developing. So again, very, very exciting time for the company on that on, on those fronts. And for everybody out there interested in ag business, ag tech, which of course is very important to our planet, it's my understanding that you have an exciting uh, plan of action here in the next month and a half for farmers interested in the sector. Would you mind sharing with our audience? Yeah, so this is I mean this is the biggest piece of news for us and that's that's the culmination of the last couple of years of work uh, getting a fully commercial scale uh, farm ready system on farm. Um so the 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 schedule as it sits today uh is we've got farmers coming in next week uh the week of April 8th for um, factory acceptance testing uh, and then the system is destined to ship out the middle of April to uh, to arrive uh, on an 11,000 acre grain farm, family farm uh, outside of Winnipeg, Manitoba, and, and then be up and running um, shortly after that. Uh, and then we've got so many farmers, um, regional farmers around that air that region who are so interested. They want to come see the system operational. They want to meet the farmer, uh, farming family who are utilizing it. Uh, and there's just so much interest building. Ian, I read that the factory acceptance testing is uh, scheduled for mid-April. Are you still on track? We've actually moved that up a week. So yeah, we're ahead of schedule on that. So that's super exciting. And then getting the system loaded onto trucks for the 20-hour drive to Manitoba from Waterloo, Ontario is is all being coordinated now. Um, and yeah, then the system will be dropped on site. We've got our, our our team standing by for commissioning. We've got support on the ground in in Manitoba with some local contractors to help get everything going. Manitoba Hydro is all queued up. Like it's a it's going to be a real exciting process to to finally turn the switch on and and start producing green ammonia on the farm, which is of course the dream come true. And in addition to government supporting, a lot of government support, it's my understanding that you selected Manitoba for a very compelling reason. Would you mind sharing with our audience, please? Sure. Well, the the simple fact is that to produce uh, green ammonia, you need green electricity. Um, that's a starting point. So uh, Manitoba, uh, as, as most of us are aware, has a green grid, uh, mainly hydroelectric. Uh, it has very, very low cost electricity. Uh, and it has, for our benefit, hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of farmers who utilize uh, either anhydrous ammonia or aqueous aqueous ammonia in their production and are desperate for for a change away from commodity gray ammonia to producing their own fertilizer inputs on farm. So it's a a perfect location, a perfect province to start. Um, And the intention here is to make Manitoba a global leader in um, in in decentralized uh, green ammonia production uh, as we build our company. And then, of course, we can export this technology all, all over the world. Your focus on, you know, farming on site green ammonia production to eliminate carbon emissions and provide energy 
and fertilizer security is an enormous objective that we all commend you on. Would you mind sharing with us how this timeline is going to work? Because it looks to me like you're looking at commercial production as early as next year. Absolutely. Yeah. No, getting to serial production, um, that's a facility that can perhaps produce 500 or more systems a year, uh, is an immediate objective to get the funding in place for that, to get the land selected, to get, uh, you know, really to put shovels in the ground and get that going. Uh, in the meantime, we'll move into much larger facilities uh, than what we have now, probably 50 to 70,000 square foot, which will allow us to do a mixture of batch and cereal production to get our numbers up. But the reality is um, the world will need thousands and thousands of these systems uh, to, to meet demand. So we will ramp up, um, we will ramp up as quickly as we can uh, in the in the select geographies that make the most sense for deployment. Um, one thing though that we have done is that we've designed our system on a 20 foot shipping container platform for a very specific reason, is that you can ship them anywhere in the world. So we could have our own large scale production and then ship our systems everywhere, but we only ship it once, uh, which is the exciting part of it. And so one way, a one way shipping deal. So it works, it works that, that, that model works as well. I'm not a tech expert, but I have followed you for over a decade and a half. And it's my understanding that you have some of the most innovative technology and several different modules of this particular technology. Can you tell us a little bit more about this? Sure. So the, the core of the system is uh, it makes green anhydrous ammonia, which is high concentration nitrogen, uh, which is used by lots and lots of farms around the world, uh, predominantly grain farmers. Um, so it's a, it's a uh, and, and potato farmers utilize a ton of nitrogen as well um, uh, every every year. So um, so that's the that's the starting module. Uh, the farm that we're going on to, they use about five or six hundred tons of anhydrous ammonia per year. Um, so they have demand that that our systems can meet uh, right out of the gate. Um, so the other type of farming utilizing nitrogen uses lower concentrations of nitrogen. Um, so that's why we've uh, we have just recently announced uh, the the development of a um, a modular uh, aqueous ammonia system that basically plugs into the core system and produces nitrogen at lower levels uh, with adjustable pH and, and a whole bunch of other benefits. So this can be utilized by farmers who are, for instance, uh, greenhouse farmers, vertical farming, controlled environment agriculture needs uh, lower concentrations of nitrogen uh, and other types of farmers who prefer to use uh, the lower uh, lower nitrogen concentrations because it's a lot easier to handle as a material as well. So there's a lot of benefits of having those, um, those two distinct offerings in our system. It just broadens our market globally dramatically. A benefit to our green economy. I recommend that everybody go to the Fuel Positive website to not only learn more about this company, but to follow what you're doing next. Thank you for joining us, Ian. Yeah, thanks, Tracy. I appreciate it.